So, hello everyone, this is Michi Hoya from Avidconic Racing. Today uh, we're gonna have a different kind of um, episode of uh, the Simpit show here. And I would really like you guys to welcome to have some play with me here on Motorsport Manager. And while speaking for now, I hope you guys can hear me really good because I have to speak considerably quiet. Um, because down at the house everyone is sleeping quite quite deep I hope. <laughs> so um yes. Why I was um thinking about you guys might like uh, watching us play some different kind of things which is still to do with uh racing. Um I know several people really been deep into racing and uh, really love um, racing and uh, have a lot of knowledge on general racing, race strategy, um, car development, car uh, physics and so on. So, um, nevertheless, those guys already told me as well that they said something like, well, yeah, they can race a car, they can drive a factor, they can drive iRacing or whatever. They won't just be particularly good or won't be as good as other guys might be so nevertheless they are still too much in very deep into racing and i would thought like well um i mean we are the simpit and um, the simpit got its simpit pit crew so why don't we make use of that pit crew and uh, go deep into a race watch a race get some mind games on what's going to happen next and um, what's what's probably the the right adjustment in a situation. So um, I hope that this show is going to be some kind of interactive. Um, I will explain a lot for the people looking at this game the first time. Um, nevertheless, I want you to guys enjoy it and maybe take on a little bit on the action with me. So. Um, Yes, Dr. 9085, I'm a German, um, since you're writing here in, in German language, um, just for me it's the same for you, close to midnight nevertheless, uh, I love to keep you guys some entertainment up, so we continue our uh, game here, which is obviously me being team manager of Arid Chronic Racing, um, surprisingly, so we go on with that. And um, we just had our 10th of 11th race last time around. Hey Michael, thank you very much for joining as well. And yeah, just to give you guys a little bit more insight into that kind of game. Um, I will go through the next processes of uh, racing and managing the team. So here's the driver's view. The main driver and the reserve driver as well as the chairman uh, sadly enough uh, you cannot do anything about the chairman um, he will kick you out of your own team if you don't uh, operate or perform well nevertheless looking at drivers um, Andre Gomez he is already full developed like there is nothing to gain anymore rather than Morale uh, Edda he just got a, a fourth star not being completed yet, so that means she still gets some values here until she's full build. And yeah, driver experience or driver skill increase weekend by weekend. Nevertheless, we continue to the next page. Um, and here you have the financial breakdown. So car parts that have been produced in the year, um, you always spend money for the next year's car. So next year's car is low investment here at the minute. There's a lot of money for this year's car to perform at the rate what it's currently performing. Um, driver's fees, race mechanics fees, designer fees, HQ upkeep and stuff. I mean you can read all that stuff out by yourself. Um, sponsorships, a payment goes either each, each race or for a certain result. Uh, pit crew fees and so on. So 
In the last race we made a total income of, uh, well, <laughs> we lost some money. And the current balance is minus 4 million, which is close to very dangerous because... Okay, now it is dangerous. <coughs> because if you go below um, 5 million, uh, you're not able to pay anything whatsoever. Um, just ignore those pictures here. Um, they're kind of wrong, so there's a uh, different mod from the workshop going on. Um, so this is the current championship standing in the Asia Pacific Super Cup, which is one ladder above the European Racing Series and above the uh, Asia Pacific. There's uh, some sort of Formula One. Can't actually remember how it's called, but you will see all the uh, other events as well. So, looking at our drivers, they're currently first and fifth here in the championship. Um, so we continue, and now here comes the real part of managing your team. You will now see the dashboard. Um, dashboard is your main drivers, and their skills, braking, cornering, smoothness, overtaking, like literally everything has um, a few more gorgeous to tell and a few more stories to tell and um, yeah, you can go very deep into everything. Something that's considerably important is marketability uh, because um, they will, well that rate will tell you about um, or influence your sponsors coming up. Then you have driver trades, so there's just like in real life uh, some stuff happening out there which has some influence on uh, driver's performance uh, as well as on the car performance then in the end. Uh, nevertheless, going back, um, here's your chairman's happiness. You should always be about 50%. Those season objective was uh, to come fourth or above, and currently we are third in team championship. I can show you. Yes, there we are. Yeah, with Chronic Racing F1 team, three wins together with Eastwood, 14 points, and I think the last race gives uh, double points. Um, yeah, double point counting. So that still means we can. Um, do a good job. So, as we said, back to the home display. So, there is a performance improvement currently going on. And you can see what the team sets are like. Uh, the car is probably the ninth best on the grid, just. Uh, but we do have good drivers. They are like fifth best on the grid. The headquarters is the best throughout uh, the entire branch here, only looking in the current championship though. Um, stuff, fourth best on the grid, our sponsors, average P5, and uh, pit crew is the third best here. So, definitely some good values in here. Nevertheless, the car needs a lot of, uh, um, a lot of improvement still, which we are going to look into right now. So here's our car, um, classic Avriconic racing colors, um, probably have to change that a little bit towards next year since uh, of the very latest activity going on with Suck Speed here. Um, so here you are looking at the car, you improve parts, you fit parts that are currently on stock and you, de you design new parts. Um, because we are at the end of the season we don't design any new parts. Um, but we will have a look at the next race, which is 24 days. This is Phoenix Grand Prix. So, a very good engine is uh, important because we need a lot of top speed, have a lot of low speed corners and a lot of high speed corners, so aerodynamics are quite important. Looking at our current car, so we fit into the parts. Um, And it is that I think Edda is uh, the main number one driver. So getting the better equipment here. We will quickly have a look. So overall comment. 
Well, yeah, being the, just the ninth best car overall. Definitely doesn't help on driver's happiness. Well, that's why she's probably a bit angry. But on the other hand, now she's got the latest and newest parts fitted into the car, which makes her very happy. On the other hand, we have Andre. And... Yeah, that guy is probably um, not too happy at all. So, looking into uh, car performances, or into parts, uh, there is always a performance rate and always a durability rate. At the end of the year, the best performance part that you have is going to be carried over as being the original part, and its reliability is uh, going to be reduced quite a bit. So, in the brakes, it would be on the one car. There will be brakes fitted 306 performance and 40 reliability and on the second car 281 brakes and 40 reliability so now we want to have a look at engine uh, we have two identical engines here being full built throughout the season um, one is put in the one car one is put in the other car as you can see uh, so nothing to change about that and the front wing, that's a specification part by uh, administration, so it's the uh, same for everyone, you can't develop on it. Gearbox uh, is not too important, the rear wing. And I remember this, that I've started to produce a new rear wing, which is that one. And that gives, um, on soft, super soft and ultra soft, gives it a 50 additional performance on those tires in high speed corners. So. That would be from 242 up to 292. Looking at uh, Phoenix, it will be soft and medium available. So we plan to do a full uh, race here on that soft tire. Um, because that will trigger the bonus here. Um, the only issue I have currently is reliability. So going towards uh, backwards into the improved parts and I will only be able to do that after I've checked all my mails. So um, that was just a report of last week's race. That is a report on the car conditions. Um, so there need to be some fixing time. This crew will need about 12 hours to fix the car. So then there is an interview that we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna quickly accept it, so simple question, which one of your driver is better? I'm not answering that, to not um, get anyone in bad mood, however, that goes down minus 10% on team marketability, as we quickly head on. Uh, quick report on performance, uh, two pit up, start race. Um, that was 8.4 seconds, broke our previous pit stop record this season. <clears throat> Alright, so we could look at our pit crew, and that's something completely new for me. Um, I've never had that, uh, I mean I've played this game for couple of time, but well, that was a couple of time ago as well. I will look at that at a different point of time. And yeah, that is just another news. So we uh, quickly continue to let the car repairs. As we have our first dilemma. So we rally speed one to one but inform um, the time we've spent together I can already tell that you are a decent well-intentioned manager thank you very much so chairman's happiness we'll probably not do that we now can see that we got a 6 
offers from sponsors, so the race poem sponsor, they will always um, give you a specific amount of money. So upfront payment, none at all, uh, but a bonus of 1,700 uh, or 1.7 million uh, if you win a race. We don't gonna take that because they're better offers to come up to three. So looking at this, um, 12 races for 4 million, 8 races for 350 up front and 250 per race, which makes that value probably around 2.5 million or something. 8 races for that amount. I quickly need to do some calculation is the 12 race contract this one gives me around 3333000 um, per race whereas this one in the middle gives me about 300 per race um so that's the best offer at this point. We'll also give some decent money. Uh, as we look into the car again, um, they're still working on the car condition, so still fixing the car. Hence why we click go on a bit. And we have another email. Finish repairing both cars. And guys get now back on improvement parts. So that's where we are. Looking at um, reliability for that rear wing, don't want to have it 100%. Um, about that, maybe. Can have it like that, though. So everything is being ready in front, up front, of the race. As we want to see whether we can improve something else. Suspension is standard part. There is uh, not much really to do. We can uh, move even further. That bar. Great. So it gives a lot of opportunity to um, still improve other car parts as well. I mean, the more durable they are, uh, the less easy they will break. So, um, I would not like to bore you guys um, and quickly carry on a little bit, but you see this um, game is very complex as we now quickly go roll through the weeks. Um, before one week is done, and yeah, I think we can carry on straight after looking at other offers from sponsors. So 11 races for 1.5, that's going to give us 140 per race. That's going to give us 1.5 million after 10 races, so that's a little better than that. The best thing though is clearly this one because that's up to 2.2 million in two races uh, in 10 races. And on the sponsor bonus we have that's gonna be a tricky one. This one. Um I mean if we win it. Oh well, that's a full gamble if we would win the next race. So I quickly have to look at the car again. So the rear wing, the best on the grid. But the engine, the ninth best, so we don't gonna take the gamble. We're gonna take the safe game. And in this case, because we won't reach any of those targets ever, we accept um, a race that's or the sponsor that's Binding us the shortest time, which is five races, and gives us the best upfront payment. There you go. Um, yes, you start with 
Oh dear, I don't know with how much money you start in the beginning of um, of the story. Um, but I think it's about 10 million what you start with, and then you have to invest into your HQ as well, so a lot of things going on. Um, interesting stuff here, Gomez is meditating a little bit, which means he has an impact of additional 2 on focus, which is good. Um, right, since now the car is further being improved, that means we're going to continue. There's um, another race going on, the Motor World. Championship, which is uh, Formula One. Um, Willie, this game is Motorsport Manager, and I thought I'd get on with something different for today, um, just to give you guys a different shot. So, looking at our headquarters, there's a test track. Um, test track is required to build better engines, it improves driver cornering, driver overtaking of the car, and costs like 12. Um, million to upgrade to epic and yeah what's best in the championship is um, the design overall we have the best headquarters as i already said the performance is best um stuff is third best and marketing and brand is just second best but could be a lot better though um nevertheless going on there you see your team, all your stuff going on, drivers, uh, you have to do contracts every single time. So, uh, stuff, that's an interesting thing as well. You have a lead designer, which um, comes in place when you develop new engine parts. Um, and then you have the race mechanic. Every race mechanic is bound to a driver and as long as they work together, as you can see, um, there is an impact on the recent changes on uh, the screen, and the better they work together, the more benefits um, it, it gives between race mechanic and the driver, such as uh, sweeter spots, the green sweet spots in qualifying is bigger, there's uh, a window where the tire needs to operate in, and that is then bigger on your warm-up lap, you need to manage it as soon as you have a qualifying enabled, or that removes the red zone from the car condition, push it to the limit. So, from the car condition, those are the red zones where car parts uh, break considerably easy and fast. So that's going to be reduced as well. Uh, pit crew, we had talked about that. Um, you can scout other people, um, different race drivers, like this maybe. Um, so you can tell your scouting people that you uh, want to scout on, I don't know. I mean basically those people are already scouted. I can approach a driver but he's not interested, which is fair enough. Um, so scouting means uh, if you go to all we're looking maybe for specific, at least three and a half stars. A little less. We're looking for young drivers. They are all scouted already, so we don't care about that. Looking at uh, finances, we set the budget for the new car to a lot, since we don't need any money for this season anymore. And let's see if we get another money. Yeah, okay, I've already asked for it. Um, so we're definitely looking forward to... Yeah. Maybe earn some money at the end. So, continue. And we go on with racing quite soon, guys. That's for sure. Um, yes, Willie, I do have um, the... GT car mod um, downloaded and approved. I'm looking into my mails. Yeah, this is really better than our target. Fourth report on the upcoming race. Uh, so a little race briefing. 13 lab race. Um, own dry race, 0% of rain. 
All of the high-speed corners on the circuit cars with good rear wings will benefit for additional downforce. That's what we have. Our rear wing is looking great, so all the race should go well. Uh, top compounds chosen is soft and medium. We do know that. Track is quite abrasive, so we need to do a good job on tire wear. That's all from him. So looking again at the improved car parts, both is very much 200%. I mean, I can basically remove this and take on that. Go to the least 100%. And then we go on, and soon the race is about to take place. I still can improve some parts. Don't need those. Gearboxes, engine, that's everything is full build here right now, so that's really good. Um, so Michael, the cars are calculated against the other AI cars being in the competition right here. So factory stuff is idling, but that's okay, because as you can see in the calendar, um, Last race is going to come, and we now have to decide on one so which is uh, fourth or above, to get 800,000. Despite having a um, bad car, we try to go on the better sponsor here. As we're quickly changing our parts roof. I think all the other parts are already mounted on the car. Great. So that we finally can do some racing. So guys, do you know that game? Have you had have heard of it any before? Have you seen of any before? I mean from a few of you guys I already saw and noticed that you did. Um so for today select drivers to work on the car setup. Um so you have to do also do the setup manually and then you let your driver drive the car and we'll get feedback in the end. Uh, we're currently only working on the soft tires because that will be the tire we want to race on. Um, here's no rule that, me, uh, that tells you um, that you have to change or use two different type of compounds I think. So we run both cars um, on the same compound, you will see that the car balance is quite a bit different from driver to driver and from car to car. There you go, we confirm soft. Um, and then you can do white stripping. So, when weight stripping, um, you lose weight on the car your performance is going to be gained on some car parts. Here we're going to look at not too much performance on the rear wing. Is those are already quite good and will be used massively. You try to uh, exceed the performance of the brakes a bit. And a tiny bit on the engine will be 85 I think gearbox like that as we keep this here same goes for there so 
that's a way to take a little bit uh, more weight off the car and improve the performance. Obviously you just can't adjust uh, all the cars parts that you have designed by yourself. So there's a little bit of performance gained and I'll try to increase that performance outcome on her a little bit more, to risk a little bit more. So reliability loss is quite big, um, nevertheless. Apply it to that um, session here. So we're into the car setups. We have done tire selection. It's same for everyone here. Uh, yep, there we go. That means now we have to work on the setup. So we take the practice and we send out our drivers immediately with the sets we just did. Uh, we're looking for race trim, put it to apps of fuel, put those tires and send them out. And they will then reply on the car balance and we have to carefully look at those messages turning up here on the screen. As you know, see them race some sort of, and we concentrate on our number one driver here. As you can see, they are gathering setup knowledge while driving, so they then will be able to tell us or tell the engineers what feels good on the car, what feels bad on the car. Active knowledge here on the tires are important, they will give you a certain bonus for the race. So this is be either soft tire and race trim, we try to full build that in the end, which is level 3, if that hasn't changed. As we now wait for the first setup information to come in. Here you can also see tire condition, tire temperature, whether too hot or too cold, fuel, the different strategy mixes, whether you attack hard, you push hard on the tires, or you take it easy on the engine. So radio from Gomez, the gearing seems just right, that's okay. Same goes for Edda, which puts purple sector 1, but no. Well, that's obvious because we were the first car out here. I will just let the game roll in uh, standard speed for now. Might turn that up during the race to uh, not have it such a long duration because I wanted to do the full process until race number one of the upcoming season if you guys like. So new message feels like I've got just the right and I'm missed to uh, read out the rest so maybe I can look into race control commentary feed. Nope I think that's only for people watching. So downforce feels bang on, nice job. That's good on the downforce, so I think the setup of Edda is quite good. However for Gomez we may need to uh, do some fixing. But the setup knowledge of Gomez is already quite good. So we bring him in at the end of the lap. He has done a faster lap anyway than Edda. So we will gonna see what we have to change. Any expectations of you guys? So now looking as she comes in, uh, as he comes in. Sorry. Um, as Ada goes fastest now, we look towards the feedback. So medium knowledge gained. And then the bars shrink together, so speed balance is excellent. Um, handling is just okay. Downforce uh, should probably a bit lower. So, put down a little bit of the downforce. And with the handling we go more towards oversteer. 
health helps anything. Um, yes, Michael, uh, you had a specific question? Um, no, not really. Um, because those inputs are somewhat... I don't really know how to say. Um, they are somewhat fictional or somewhat fake here for this uh, for this race. I mean, they make some kind of sense if you race on a track like Monza. Um, you have low wings and longer gear ratios, and if you race on a track like um, Singapore or something, you have high wings and short gear ratios. So it's just making some kind of sense. Um, but I wouldn't like really use it to simulate um, on the on the real race because as you now have seen um, the car balance was right in the middle for Gomez on the suspension in between understeer and oversteer and you will see that the setting is quite different on the car of Edda uh, and she comes in right now so she's totally happy with uh, current setting Look, the uh, uh, handling here is very much towards the understeer. Nevertheless, I think she wants to have a little less uh, aero. Longer gear, maybe. Have to work a little bit on the tire pressures to bring the handling back into the right position. There you go. Try that. And then we probably see whether it went into the right direction. And so let's see if Gomez here, we are now close to reaching the third level of bonus for soft tires and race trim. And we just hope to get that because that helps massively in the race. So Gomez coming in, we immediately work on setup furthermore. As you can see, we dropped 7%. So, comparison of both sets, the gears are a tiny bit too long now, because purple is best. Then we want to have a lot of understeer, and higher wings were better as well. So, we're quickly going to put a bit higher wings, puts the speed balance automatically into the better per, uh, position. They, we want to probably have it where the little uh, arrow is. To achieve that, change a lot on the handling. We increase the camber. A little more precious. There you go. That's about right. So, going again on the same tire, further working on that setup. As I expect a message from Edda soon. So, downforce is feeling a bit off now. Um, so we're missing something here, definitely. So we quickly get her in as well. So, as we see, your issues, suspension stiffness have been spot on. However, the The downforce was rare, but not very good. And um, a lot more downforce. Now oh, you have to play a lot with the settings. Get um suspension and everything back into the right position. Some settings work vice vice versa. A 
sometimes it's kind of cool to really adjust them. This is a real a real test if you guys enjoy this. Um, if you enjoy it, hit like. If you don't enjoy it and think that's boring, give it a dislike. I'm totally fine with that. So, Gomez is now happy because this um, arrow setup is a lot better. So we accelerate the time. Let those um, practice sessions finish. So there was an event. We had worn tires, nevertheless. Uh, handling felt much better for Gomez. Really happy about the set. Good. Uh, we will see the happiness of Gomez in the end when going towards the race. I think there is no qualifying. Um, red starting position will be the reverse order from the championship standings, which is 20 and P16 and start, I think. There you go. So we have to somehow make it to. Now we can finally add our knowledge from soft tires and race trim. I take this one here. Uh, and those here. Is there are no ultra soft whatsoever? Car setup. That was fine. Save that set. Use a bit promise. Same. Oh no, we just check on new toys, that's good. Options we definitely just gonna do one stop, and we both make it in lap six or lap seven. So we're gonna uh, cruise a lot during the race and try to stretch out the stint. So we make it uh, fully work, or oh, well, we just plan to do box lap six. As well uh, on the second car. This one has 9080. Good. Hey ACR Raven. No, I'm not allowed. Um, but I just take the risk of getting stewed up and banned streaming forever by my mother. That's why I talk very, very silent. I um, have to concentrate a lot on the uh, doing so. I hear the strange noise in there. Well, still streaming. Fuel options stay the same. So we confirm driver strategy. We take everything medium. Uh, probably I can push a bit with the tires. Uh, but we have to gently on the fuel to make it towards lap 6 of that race so it was a interesting start by this uh, well yeah that was uh, Woods or Eastwood car so championship contender Just leave you alone with the pictures for a second here. We're looking on our number one driver. They're now side by side. Uh, but Edda really needs to get in front, so we tell our Gomez mate to let the team mate go. Uh, hey Jens, you want to tell me about this uh, fire mod? Uh, what does it do? Because I haven't played that game too long in the past couple of weeks. So I'm just unsure about uh, what this is doing.
as we are now trying to uh, heal mix a little bit here for Edda, but she can take some overtaking action. The field is still so low together uh, and, and so close together. Uh, yeah, now we're soon gonna run both at the end of the uh, at the end of the field. <clears throat> the other opportunity, of course, would have been to stay out of trouble. Let yourself fall back a little bit. Just do... Uh, low on fuel that's what uh, is exactly what we're gonna do now because I expect the people ahead to box a lot earlier so most of the people will do um, a two stop if uh, the game hasn't changed too much because of the fuel thank you very much Raven uh, so what's the point of letting your cars burn? Um, oh yeah, I saw that uh, thing in the in the workshop though. Uh, I wasn't really sure though whether this is some kind of fake, um, what or whether it actually makes sense. But now, as you can see, we're climbing a little bit through the field. Um, as some guys are already planning to box. Weather is still dry. Rib will increase. So, first guys are in the pits. That will happen quite a lot, I think. So, now there is time to push hard on the fuel. Push hard on... I'm not sure whether to push hard on the tires, uh, but I think you can do. You can wear them down to like 25% and there's uh, time to change tires. And it's now that we make up the time here for our pit stops. Only problem I do have now is that both cars are running um, considerably close within each other, uh, which will make them wait on the pit stop to be finally uh, serviced. As we are now low on fuel, so that means on a box, take a fresh set of. Soft, um, fully refueling, parts look good, try a very fast pit stop, and we're gonna do the very same here, fill it up, have a fresh set of tires, pit strategy fast, that's that. And yes, I do not have enough fuel, however, with fuel economy. Um, go towards the end of that race. As we now need to look after the tires a little bit more. And we are already putting in low fuel consumption. Because we're now really going to be on an economy drive as we enter the pits with the leading guys. So it's definitely interesting whether we can have a good pit stop. Hopefully refueling goes well. It does. So our number one driver gained some spots and now we are out on this economy race um, 
things went totally wrong though at Gomez who just exited the pit well way behind and obviously with a mistake being done on the pit crew um, a little bit out of position but uh, we do have Edda in good position and now it's all about um, conserve the tires a little bit be easy on the fuel is that's now going to be the full fuel economy run yes Michael everything you do here on that race is fully commanded by you all you have is uh, weather conditions weather forecast um, water forecast for water on the track um, higher rubber forecast you can see like a black line here which builds up and builds up some grip as the race develops just like in real life and you have all the other possibilities now here you can run the game in 2d mode um, here you are on it like in 3d you can zoom in and zoom out you can have look at car conditions here there is the special bonus enabled though red area whereas here we have the red area as the rear wing is yeah quite a bit low on reliability so it could break in the end nevertheless there's five laps remaining and have a little too less fuel um, as you can see literally everything here and manage everything so it's a real motorsports manager to me basically it's the most technically and complex um, motorsports manager I've ever seen out in the web or as a game so it's definitely granting some fun so interesting question Safety car is now come out. Which will definitely help us because we are on an economy run. So we ignore it. Uh, we put it back up on fuel and tires. I expect the front guys to box though. At least some of them. Yes, there you go. So that still should enable us to pass them in the pits. Um, could turn out to be a good decision, could turn out to be a bad decision, you never know. So where does Gomez end up? Not just a bit. At least another spot, so P8 would be very vital having the championship in mind so we are now in uh, second position and in eighth position the wood fourth cars are uh, the east wood cars are fifth and fourteenth so we can have a quick look at data center standings championships with those points being added that's the title for EDA. That's the title for ACR by just 8 points. So, we really have to look out for Firebirds, the light blue teams. And they are currently sitting in, if you look at the lap charts, that. Uh, not that either, live timings, there you go. So as you can see there is so much stuff you can really see and explore and exploit. So those are the both firebirds. Um so you really need to hang on though at the current position that we in. Um so there's still one lap left in safety car condition. I let that um quickly Yeah, tires are on the heated. That's pretty much okay for now. Um, I let the time go a little bit quicker. So three laps remaining. Still have not enough 
a few saved. However, we might have towards the end of the, the safety car lap, which is uh, going to happen soon. As I can see that the car conditions now starting to drop quite uh, massively, so we now can turn up the fuel a bit as well as overtake and attack um, because just two, well, yeah, just two laps left. As we just help the car to withstand um, forces, so we can ease and uh, even put on more fuel. So we are currently leading that race for some, uh, yeah, because the other guy has box, so we now have a, a good chance to win and secure those points actually needed. Um, so Gomez in P5 making his way up, Edda is able to, um, to go a little bit away as I quickly want to save the game because you guys know me, you guys know my PC likes to crash sometimes very often. I don't want this to happen right now because that definitely gives me the championship and the possibility to step up into the next um, available championship here. I quickly gonna turn on the overtake button for Gomez so maybe he can do anything on the final lap as the P4 guy is a little bit more done with damage. Yeah, there we go was a good pass, currently 4th position, first is secured, so we take down uh, the fuel, we take down the tyre pushment, um, nevertheless for Gomez, will it be enough in the end to withstand 5th position there? Some guys are out of fuel. We'll on low on fuel with Gomez as well, so we put him quickly in uh, saving mode, make it sufficient fuel towards the line, and oh, just over the line we come in from uh, first and fourth. Oh, guys, you remember me saying, are oh, we not gonna win that Phoenix Grand Prix anyway? So that 3.8 million of money wasted. <laughs> And if you want to know how much that is, to develop an engine like 0.1.2 million. Right, there you go. Money wasted. Yeah, but probably I wouldn't have had picked the right sponsor in the end anyway. Uh, I have the possibility to check strategy, how different strategies were. Cap to leaders and everything. Um, see the gap here between Edda and uh, Andre. That I swap positions. Event pit stops. Literally can see everything here. Data, it's actually ridiculous. Uh, what what can be in here? Graph mode also give that as a chart mode. And analyze so much stuff it's ridiculous so do uh, safety collapse that definitely helped have to leader pit stop history it's pit lane time the worst definitely were here but took quite long it was like in between same goes with the position tracker like you can you can see everything you can see, I mean, you can analyze everything, look at everything. Toy history, toy selection, you can see the way of the other guys. So, um, what the, the Firebird guys, incredibly, I'll look at their tires. However, look at Avid Chronic Racing tires, they use so much more during the weekend, especially from the stuff coming. But, Nevertheless, standings, that's Ella winning the championship, Aerochronic Racing winning the championship as well as it stands. 
Um, that means we're gonna be promoted to the next um, level as scrutineering goes on. You always have the possibility to build car parts that are illegal, but if you're caught building some, uh, you're gonna get points deducted, you're gonna get positions being taken away. But here is no rules broken. So it was a sponge objective. We met that, so we get a surplus of 8,000. And yeah, faster slap bonus gives us uh, additional points. So here's the race winner, Edda. Thank you very much. Team principal, that's me, happily. Um, Phoenix final standings of Drivers Championship. That's Edda winning it as well. I already said also Avid Chronic Racing winning it after 11 of 11 rounds. That's great. A dramatic race in Phoenix and in Avid Chronic Racing team win. And I quickly gonna go further, further, further. And uh, now comes to a very exciting part of this game, which is planning, or, well, getting the year to, to the end and then planning for the new car. And uh, next year we probably have to look at new drivers um, getting a bit better. But we have to see, I mean, we also have to look at the money. So the next year in championships definitely going to be a building year to build up a new team, build up some resources. As you can see, a lot of fees um, and here, race mechanics. Um, diner, uh, which is personality trait. Um, I don't really know what's that about. Yeah, pit crew. So much wage uh, has been um, paid there. So that's gonna harm us badly on the bank account. Nevertheless, go on and click us all the upcoming things so that's the important thing um, we've just got some uh, achievements here which was um, classes from Schlusslicht zum Sieg that means from the very back to the win um, get one driver to a win by starting from the last position on the grid. We did that with Edda today, which is great. Um, next thing is, star at the pit wall, um, winning a season team and a season drivers championship in one year. I think we have had another one. Is it set uh, two new achievements? But not too sure. Nevertheless, great result here. We continue as we now get our trophy and the prize money of 13.7 million. Still great. So the game is going to be saved and now you will see how a car is built from scratch for the next year. So looking at the email, car condition, we don't care because season has finished have an interview that's for sure so congratulations on securing the european racing ti series title what was the secret on pinpoint at a thing my team probably well i agree um a is probably the best answer because with other answers you also could destroy or make damage it could review I've conducted an after action report. Thank you for enough amazing, great uh, reigning you, the uh, racing series champion. So great marketability, great morale, mechanic relationship grows, and obviously a, cha a chairman's happiness. Which great. That's just uh, news. Contracts running down. So 
we have to lengthen contracts with either the lead designer, with Eva, the racing winner, and with both race mechanics. So now there is again the task to manage all that stuff. So we're looking into drivers. Uh, looking towards scouting. See whether we can approach a different driver just by chance. Um, some contracts are ending this year. Um, which is important. So here we have a GT driver. Driver Baserius. Can really literally drive in every thing. Not interested, okay. So, have to look on. Out for scouting. The so Royal would be an interesting thing. He was not interested back then, but I just tried to reproach him again. No, he doesn't want to. Fair enough. So we try with uh, Royal. Whether she wants to have a talk? No, she doesn't. Yeah. So this finding drivers is sometimes a bit difficult. I admit. A planet. Challenger. Curious. Don't think that Molly Fox would be interested. Oh, that was obvious. There is a lot of clicking going on now to see if there is any kind of driver wanting to talk. It's just like that with Average Chronic Racing in real life as well. Nope. Probably have to find the driver that's currently a little bit unhappy. So, we also have to look um, drivers, single-seaters, all, they are all bound into any contract whatsoever. So here are about a few jobless people. Really? So sharp. Yeah. Would have been too good, wouldn't it be? So that's just William Evans. Um, so we need to scout some drivers, considerably young ones to um, develop still. They are also a bit more um, um, a bit more cheap. Right, same goes for the designers. There are some people not being contracted at the minute. Let's see if there's anyone. Billy Wolf, that would be great. Not interested, fair enough. Probably we have to do this. Um, Soon, as we announce where we're going to go. So, King on the pit crew and hire someone. Fix it. Those values should be considerably good. So we've just hired a new swap him with that guy. Swap that one.
with that guy. Right, so try a Finnish guy. Drivers Finnish. Oh. I don't think that this guy <laughs> is going to help. However, Tony Class and European Racing Series. I mean, he's not better than Gomez. He would be interested though, but that doesn't really help me because Gomez um, has also two and a half stars, and he that guy has a bad fitness. Um, so sorry, the current Finnish guys on the market doesn't really suit. Um. I would be more interested oops, in someone like uh, this. But yes, we already know, not interested. Anyway, um, we got the sponsors, have all of them set. All we can do now is like literally go and uh, get our prices cars have been fed that's all right championship prices ceremony now taking place so that's just a report that's the prize money manager of the season not me but fair enough driver of the season not from our team also fair enough receive pit money and that is the 13.75 million being added to our car balance, the bank account balance, which is great. Go on. And I think this is the end of the season. We finished all our current job. Jobless. Fine. Motion opportunity. So, congratulations on winning the title. Now, time for the big question. Would you like to? Take step up towards the Asia Pacific. Yes, Michael, I'm quite sure that they still will produce very high leveled uh, drivers, nevertheless. Um, we will be asked to answer that question if you accept promotion or technical expert shall brief your mechanics on the current regulations. The car to be upgraded to a more competitive level. I would also remind you that the RC Pacific Super Cup offers a promotion bonus if you will be given 10 million if you accept the offer. What do you say? Well, I think we're gonna accept that. So we take the team towards the next level, which is great. So the Asia Pacific Super Cup rules, which have been voted on over the course of the last year, have now become active. This may, of course, have some changes. Engines can be developed. Probably bad for us. So, meanwhile, the Asia Pacific Cup ACR F1 has been promoted from the European Racing Series, where Garuda will drop down. So we continue and then there is the preseason start coming up on 11th December 2018. And this is where the interesting part of this game really starts. So the game will be saved because now you have to decide on particularly important decisions. So we need to get cracking on the 2019 chassis. So we're gonna design next year's car. So last year we've saved 7.2 uh, million for the new car. Gives us 29 million of balance. And now we have to decide on a lot of things. So engines buy a few. Supplier, materials supplier, brake supplier. And we really want to look at having good fuel efficiency and good improvability. 
and the bases that modify it to be kinda high. However, costs should not exceed the limit. Um, I need to play a lot now, like really see what's going on there. Break supplier. Hmm. Wrong. It's difficult to really weigh up the balance of uh, stuff. I will take away uh, all of the money for now. Quickly rethink. Ah, oh, the decision on the end is so bad. Because you want to have a good fuel efficiency, however, the improvability is really important, but very costly. <laughs> Talking about fuel. Customization is not available, so we have to play with the stars down on the ground. I think we take medium here. Play with medium here as well. Here the most expensive part is definitely the better decision. Oh well, this is a building year anyway, so we take this. There were some 4 millions left here um, for car to build. You can see it's developed now. Everything goes considerably quick. We have finished scouting. As, uh, also need to start renewing contracts. So I definitely want to keep Edda. Other negotiation will be number one driver, I think that's for sure. Uh, status is fairly important anyway, wages aren't very important to me. So, what's maximum? Those keep it low. Might prefer a short corn. Uh. Nope. Should be end of 2019. It will give us patience once. Bonus size isn't very important. I should at least that requirement, shouldn't I?
Dann what? Yes, Jens, you're absolutely right. And I will try to uh, get rid of Gomez here. Um, that's why I have already found out on some... Uh, that's just news, I think. Scouting people, there you go. Some hours left on Morales. Let's see if other drivers are now actually able, uh, wanting to talk to me. People are already trying that fin again. Sadly, he doesn't want. Yeah, there should be a few more jobless people now. Abado, maybe we have a chance here. Oh, there you go. Start negotiations. Number two driver. Wages are not. Uh, I'd prefer on signing a fee. Three hundred thousand bonuses. He has some kind of patience because there is no a kind of uh, job in the backhand anyway. So that's good. Also looking at scouting for a designer. A lot of people being free. However, all the good ones are bound. She's interested though. I mean, she got four stars. As a vacancy. B. Smith. That is great. Get on talking with her. And we compare her him. So before negotiating with her, we quickly have to compare with him. Engine, that's great, we need engine. Gearbox, oh, uh, that's a par. Battle brakes. Okay, she's good on the rear wing, she's a little bit worse on engine, better on the front wing. So the values of our current designer aren't too bad. Performance 20. <laughs> I will approach her at least. The wages are important. Contract. Split up there. Nice signing fee. Should be that. Bonus prizes are important. Okay, take that, but uh, we also want to have the one in the back. Been too good. Hawkins, maybe. Nope. The other guys are probably not. Callum Hamilton, maybe. Not interested. All the others are not really worth approaching. That guy maybe, but... I mean, those people leave if they don't feel like being in the right team in the end. Well, always have to take that into consideration. He's probably an interesting person. Oh, but there's only patience once. So I want to compare her first. Good on the end. 
on the gearbox, considerably good on the brakes, good on the rear wing. Yeah, her attributes aren't that bad, uh, that good though. We'll just approach her though. Which is important. Medium contact. Team pays it all. In feet. To be fair, I leave it. Uh, I really can't afford her. So, I think we're down on the options. Now we have to look at the race mechanics as well, or we simply keep them. So Ruby we have started negotiating with. There's no third interesting there. So um if you're asking what kind of hours I got on that game, it's uh, 173. Some like taking it kind of serious, like it or not. So there's some nice engineer, um, maybe being interested. We compare it. Well. There is no big um, question, isn't it? Medium contract. Team pays it all. Like a nice signing fee. Alright, take that. Bonus size is important. He has kind some patience so we can like see what he's up to. Um maybe we can find out on another one. Okay, not interested, fair enough. I mean taking people away from other teams is kinda costly. Um Thank you very much for your feedback here, Jens. Um, I'll take that in consideration when going on. So that's probably an interesting person since she can still learn. Compare her to... Ali. Hit stops are very important. Chemistry, reliability. See, I still approach her though. Long contract, which is for me. Probably around that. Even split. Okay. Add a nice fee. Isn't very important. Got some patience as well, so we try starting it with nothing. Right. There we go, I think we have everything we need at the minute. As we set the budget for next year's car for low now. 
So thank you, we don't need that, we don't need that. Once there's nothing to do here, scouting just takes some time. So we have at least one scouting being finished. We see uh okay, interested. There is no red mail. That's all right. <clears throat> Next, um, board has come. Scouting department. Now that's Max Schmidt. Being full build already, but definitely faster than a Gomez. I can drive a shoe. Aren't very important, so we keep that low. Old contract. Got three patients anyway, so we keep it. Proposal sent. So. So I think that's a driver. That's two patients gone. <clears throat> so if he feels insulted on that, all right. Well, let's see if that makes him up here. Let's see about her, which is are more important. So let's see if that's all right. Oh, really? Why? What? That's just not right. <sighs> right, um... Now I have to look, I'm looking at drivers, as I should be free, there you go. I was within negotiations anyway. And suddenly the status isn't too important. Well, wages are important to me. I have to do it all over the place. Fact. Nice signing fee. Okay. Bonus size is important. And if you guys keep thinking and want to change anything or want to load anything, just let me know. Still checking the chat. So is there anyone else that went off the team? Well, I wanted to have a new engineer anyways. Well, that's alright. <laughs> and I was on with two car mechanics as well. Not good for our car development though. So we quickly get someone in. So... That's last chance here for... I'm probably now being a little bit in... Getting some fine, so that will be fine. <coughs> Further contract proposal. No driver Max Schmidt is happy to do with me still. Get 
get on a little fee. Uh, as you can see, it's quite... Quite difficult to manage everything in the off season. Okay. Do. I see this is going way too expensive to me. Right, we have a dilemma here, a unique opportunity has and lately after one of the engines caught fire in the garage that he may are calling their work unsafe. So we have an opportunity with our upcoming marketing material to exploit this mistake and compare it to our superior working conditions. Let's do it, have a little bit of risk. So, Ada wants to talk to us again. Last chance though, on the wage. Let's hope she agrees. Uh, what happens then? Scouting report finished. The early marsh could be interesting as well, and happily interested. Of the rest. So Ruby wants to have another talk. Okay, probably need to get on the max here. Same here. But I think she can be considered ours. The Stiegelmann. Nope. Not interesting for us. So Eve is coming to us, that's good. She can find stuff. So she agrees. And well, it's. Wayne in the end, anyway. Furthermore, that contract signed, that's good. I think we missed. Here we have to adjust once. Well, okay. Try this. We still have to wait. So, Max already said yes. Have to um, see drivers and costs then. Sabado accepted as well. Alright. 
Edda doesn't want to join. And Ruby. She's coming in. That's great as well. So we definitely get her signed. Because there is no better option. Then. We hope Juan Lopez to come here for the race mechanic. So we have. Would at least have two drivers. Um, not sure if I'm well, really happy with them, because they, well, do not really develop still. So we may look for another team driver. Definitely a young one's gonna be scouted now. Maybe there is some jewelry that can be put in as a test driver, something. So that's good. Sign him. Or her. Great. So we're perfect on the stuff, all we need to accept on is drivers. I hope that... Um, there you go. Contract off offer accepted as well. So, looking into drivers there. Uh, we now really have to compare and see within the details. Compare with... Number two, he agreed to the number two driver. 562 costs per race. 18,000 on the bonus. Five. Oh, she agreed the number two. Well, that was signing. Dali Marsh is probably the most expensive. Has no fees at all. We signed them. I mean, yeah, <laughs> Michael, I, I so much agree. It was what well, that came up to my mind as well. So I think we now have settled our contract. All we need to look now is um, test drive. So Apply a break through. Got off the phone. Definitely gonna do it, no matter what. That's helping us a lot. It will help the races. Upgrade the telemetry center. All right.
So one of the opponents killed on their HQ. Oscar Croc. Interesting. Interesting. Important reserve driver, that's for sure. Put in there. Contra. I would love that. That's. And he accepted eventually. Great. Because. And sign him for a test and driver. Continue to find him. Boss at all. Probably was an early shot though. Could be worse. So we're definitely looking good for the future. As we're finally coming towards livery edit. So as you can see, fuel efficiency increased by one, which is good. Edit car livery. So guys, um, still watching me here, um, what kind of colors would you love to see on the car? We definitely have to change uh, some colors first. Um, because we are looking... Get the sax bleed blue on. That. It's here a color. Um, how about that? Having some red stripes on the car. I think that looks somewhat fine to me. Same color. Eh, not orange. Same blue or white. I think white is better. We take that. Delivery wise. about um, changing between 8 and 9 not sure whether to take 8 or 9 guys it's your chance here to take and gain on the action 8 or 9 first 3 answers will decide So anyone, livery 8 or livery 9? That's a 1049. Any other thoughts?
While Timo there is no zero, we have to go for either of one. That is currently nine, Michael, and that one is eight. Tweak the colors to what? To the other orange here because the blue is already black speed color. All I can do is um, light blue instead of the white. So like that. Probably that's too hard now, so the other trim color is probably the better option. Light blue on the wings. How about that? So which one to adjust then, Timo? So secondary color should be light blue. And this one is the white then. Like that. Alright. How about the cherry color? Let me quickly look up. Different color code. Number four. That's seven. One. Well, that's the official ACR colors here. Happy with that, guys? Yeah, I know. Delay. Great, so probably eight or nine. If you would ask me, um, eight is probably a little bit better looking than nine. <clears throat> so eight or nine. There you go, takes it 9 and we continue, yes that's the call livery. So keep working on the car, another unique opportunity, uh, another report finished of Jakob Prendel, not too much of an interesting driver. Another unique opportunity. And now I have to see whether marketability still strikes. Since the marketability is already 100%, so that doesn't give me any benefit. However, it gives me downside on the happiness of the team principle. So, no impacts for that. Contract ending with with whom? 
All right, season car testing is now starting. Oh, interesting. But Oscar has still the same amount of uh, possibility to learn. No, I think the other one is good. So we cancel it here since he is uh, already a bit further. Right. And then we continue. So pre-season testing. This test will tell us how we've done over the off-season. Fingers crossed that the car is good. More than that you know about the GMA, why change the car modifications on race weekends? Weight striping allows us to strip the car parts down uh, bones in order to decrease overall weight of the car. Liability but increases performance, we all know that. No practice qualifying race, however, any head break. It crit. Just job specific. That's every pit crew. Five course. That's tires. Front check. Fixing. Okay, recover the three. Cover some stamina. Quickly read that so I understand. What's it? So, taking on the pit crew. Back, he's right, he would right. I don't see someone for refuel at the mid. Okay though. Probably here on the tires we got someone wrong. You. With him. What you? With him. And we got the best guys on the tire stuff. However, probably because of the fixing problem. Rest is great. Right, still looking at the car. Which date is days? And we can finally head off. Um, Work on the car parts. Before that, we have to do pre-season testing. So fingers crossed. Engine not delivering full power. That's bad. Oil leak. Bad as well. It looks like we have some kind of engine problem. Oh no! I don't want to run in a McLaren Honda thing. So, after stepping up into the next level of racing, probably hard season to come now, as the car is really poor, drivers are poor, everything else is fine, which is good. No pre-season testing report, we had fairly decent Showing in preseason testing, I'd say we've had a fairly good winter and our performance is about where we could expect it to be. Well, as an upcomer, surely. Improving your reliability and building some new parts should be the order of the day, that's true. Let's 
No targets for 2019. 5th upfront, 7th upfront, or 9th. Oh. What do we want to get upfront? How is points being rewarded here? Rules. 18 races on average being given just for the top 10. Because I do not know at all where we're gonna be, and it's gonna be definitely a building year. We take the easy, well, easy option. Um, can you pause? Because now we want to design parts already, and as it seems, we can build everything um, so we're gonna build a new set of brakes because it's important for the next race tire wear efficiency improved okay definitely want to have better deceleration so we build that part yes, do. and looking into reliability Liability doesn't look so bad on current parts. Gearbox and front wings gonna be the other thing that's gonna be important. So Let's work on those parts here. I'm trying to bring up a new front wing soon. Let's take this. Brakes gonna be finished soon. Wind tunnel. There is the brakes. So and then I think we quickly gonna do that's quite late already. Um I think we stop this here in a split second then. So we look at the new brakes. Performance 439, reliability 40%. Check out on the car. Get in the parts. So definitely some improvement. However, reliability is an issue. For the last We fix it to one of those cars and try to improve the brake reliability towards the beginning of the next race. Now in the next part is we're looking into the next race a front wing because that's important as well. One hour before the race, new brakes would be it ready. But since we got more stuff to do, keep away from that. So we do the front wing. Uh, low speed corners. Your front wing's gonna be better anyway, so we just take it on reliability. Build that part as yes, we do. Then we quickly gonna simulate what's the end of that week. The two other main Oh, 
That guy is always telling some lies and stuff. Fine with money, no worries. So we continue, and then we would have to have the travel towards Singapore. But guys, since it's kind of late, and I think um, I've bored you quite a bit, um, we're gonna stop this here. If you want to see how this story goes on, uh, make sure to like, uh, to like this video, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell all the enthusiasts of uh, motorsports and probably of uh, sim racing about this game, about this show. Um, note in the comment if you want to see that stuff carry on, carrying on. Probably will pull it back on my channel then. Um, nevertheless, if you like what you see, make sure to hit the like, share and subscription buttons. And yeah, I hope despite this kinda long story and kinda long thing we went through, um, you had a little bit of fun. Um, it's definitely like one of the most complex games and I've tried to get it a little bit closer to you, get you a little bit more known into that um, stuff. So if you had some fun, hit the like, bu the like button. Um, and let me know whether to carry on on that or not. Anyway guys, um, thank you very much for watching tonight. My, uh, my name is Mitty Hoyer, I'm from Evriconic Racing and I was live for the Simpit. And I'll see you guys out on track.